Hi YouTube friends, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to talk to you about how I'm getting on in this year. I'm sure you're super eager to find out what's going on. So um, I think the last video I did was one about St. Lucia, where I went on my elective, which was amazing. I saved up really hard to go there and um, it was an incredible experience. Um, and if you get to go abroad for your elective, um, or if you're choosing between staying in the UK and going abroad, um, I'd definitely say go abroad because um, I don't want to sound like really like, oh yeah, I'll go up here, I could change my life. But um, it was a real eye opener um, <clears throat> in terms of living in another country for two months and, you know, just experiencing a different culture completely it was really awesome. So I'd recommend it. Um, so moving on from that. I think last time you saw me, I was having a bit of a shitty time in fourth year. Um, I was not enjoying the degree at all. And I just want to reassure you that um, I'm back on track again. Uh, things are really looking up now. Um, I think most people who go to medical school, and it doesn't matter what medical school they go to, they tend to have a shit time one year um it, you know quite often it's the year where you do finals and fourth year was the year that I did my finals and I just found it really hard I I think I worked really hard in third year and I may have burned out a little bit and then when I got to fourth year yeah it, it was there was just too much there was too much to do um <laughs> our medical school kind of crammed in with these special study units as well as um trying to revise for our finals and it was just uh, it was awful but um but yeah it's just something that you just have to like power through and um I know it doesn't sound pleasant but that's kind of what you signed up for a little bit um but I, I do want to just sort of say that um you know I I was really really down I think in fourth year and um you know you shouldn't go through it alone and you should try and you know find help in whatever way that is you know talk to friends family um, you know speak to your doctor and make sure that you get help because I think um, you know mental health has a stigma um, and it shouldn't because doctors um, they have a you know a really high number of doctors have mental health problems at some point in their career and it is not surprising because it's a really hard job and it's really stressful and you're dealing with um, you can deal with like some pretty shit situations and be really professional all the time and and you know that that wears that wears people down sometimes and especially in the way that the NHS is NHS is at the moment it's not surprising um so <clears throat> I just wanted to put that in there um but yeah like I said things are looking up um I'm really enjoying fifth year uh, it's really nice having most of my exams out of the way. I've just had two big exams this year and they were just pass only ones. I didn't have to like, you know, bust my ass over them. And I've got my prescribing exam in March, but I'm not like too worried about that because to be honest with you, from what I've heard from people, the prescribing exam is mostly about learning how to look up stuff in the bnf um because at the end of the day it is really useful to know um you know like what common drugs to use for things and um um you know like interactions and 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 side effects and things but you can't learn more and um a lot of the doctors i spoke to who did the prescribing exam as well said that for the actual exam the people who did worse or didn't pass it the ones who tried to cram everything in because that's not the point of the exam it's about like looking up stuff quickly in the bnf um and there are sort of certain things you you do know uh, sorry you do need to know that that aren't necessary in the bnf but um it's just about getting used to doing that so and and i suppose like we shouldn't be prescribing stuff unless we're absolutely sure that's what what the person needs so it's good to look at things up in the BNF. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've got that one in March. And then um, that's it, really. I mean, I, I applied for my um, placements. Sorry, I applied for my 
Um, it's, it's late. Um, I applied for my um, F1 jobs and I did that in October, September, I think. October, I can't remember. Anyway, but I don't find out where I'm going until March, which is a bit annoying. It's a long time to wait, but um, I'm really hoping to get into South Thames because that's um, from London and I want to go back to London to live there because um, my family's there and my, and my boyfriend's there. And um, I did well in my medical school sort of finals and everything. So I managed to get um, the max number of points you need for that part, which is called the education performance measure. And that's out of 45, uh, 43. So I got 43. And then I got two points for um, the degree. Because I got a degree in psychology um, and I got a 2-2 here for Desmond. Um, it's a shame I didn't get two one because then that would have been three points. Uh -huh. um, and then the other parts of the education performance measure are five points. Sorry, five points for degrees. So then I got two of those possible ones. And then you had two points for publications. And I didn't do any publications, um, which is kind of stupid. I probably should have because it would have given me two points. Um, but yeah, so I got 45 out of 50, which is like a fairly decent score. It's not amazing, but, you know, it's pretty good. Um but then the other part of the F1 application is something called the Situation Judgment Test. And I'm slightly worried about that because when I did the mocks, I didn't do fantastic. I got like just below average and I was like, oh. So I was a bit worried about that. Um, but hopefully it hasn't gone as badly as I, I thought it would. Um, it sounds super easy, but it's really not. Um, if you just Google SJT, Situation Judgment Test, you'll know what I'm talking about. And have a little read about it if you want um but if you're applying to medical school you don't really need to know about it uh, just yet so yeah yeah like i'm enjoying my placements um i'm on oncology at the moment six weeks i'm really enjoying oncology thinking maybe i might be an oncologist um cancer isn't really not as miserable as people make it out to be um <laughs> when I've spoken to people and told them at non medical people and told them I'm doing oncology, they're like, oh, that sounds a bit miserable. But actually, it's really not. Like, people who are going through cancer, usually um, it brings the best, uh, the best in them out to, you know, they, they really um, want to live their lives to the full and they're quite positive most of the time. So it's not as horrible as, as everybody makes out and you can make a real difference so I really like it <laughs> um and I did GP before that for six weeks as well and I did really enjoy it but I don't think that GP's for me I think hospital medicine's for me um <clears throat> yeah and then after that I've got my GI surgery placement and after that I've got my renal placement and then after that I've got um MAU, which is Medical Assessment Unit, for six weeks, and that should prepare me really well for F1, I think, which starts in August. Um, there's like a storm going on outside. There's been a storm going on for like the last two days, um, which is really bad. And sort of <laughs> other things that come with being a student is um, I've got a car, but my car started leaking, um, so I've got to take it to the garage to repair it, and um, all the rain's going into it, so it's really bad. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much me, like the update, update really, and um, just like something I just wanted to mention, if you do get to the end of this video, um, is that YouTube are no longer uh, monetizing videos that don't have more than 1,000 subscribers, and who don't have more than 12, mm, what was that error, I think it was, I oh, sorry, 4,000 hours in the last 12 months. So I've got more than 1,000 subscribers, which is amazing. And thank you all so much for subscribing to my vids, my vids, my videos. Um, but I don't have <laughs> 4,000 watched hours. Um, I'm like 2,000 short. Yeah. <clears throat> so it seems like people like 
to prescribe, like watch short bits, but not necessarily the whole video. It's probably because I just ramble on. Um, so I should try and do like short videos probably. Yeah, which would be more useful. Um, so yeah, if you want to like watch my videos and um, leave them on mute and just have them running in the background, that would help probably. Um, maybe I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's a bit crap. I mean, I don't really make that much money from them. I probably only make like five or six pounds a month, but it still pays for something, you know, like it helps. Every little, every little helps. So yeah, and it's also the principle, isn't it, that you kind of want to be incentivized to make content um, a little bit. So, but anyway, cool. Um, good luck with all your applications and if you're doing finals, good luck with those. Um, and I'll see you around. Bye. Oh, stop.